now for some big brotherly advice. Number one, put God first before your children, before your spouse even. When we understand the love of the Father, we can draw on that when it gets difficult, and it will get difficult. But with a conscious connection to the Lord, you will have the strength to endure the hard times. Number two, I've heard it, and I believe it to be true, that one of the best gifts that you can give your children is to love your spouse well. One of the best compliments that our children can ever give us is to say that I want to have a marriage like yours. Number three, defend your spouse in public and correct in private. Number four, don't let the sun go down on your anger. Pull an all-nighter if you need to, but don't give an anger an opportunity uh, to root itself in your heart. Number five, don't make major life-altering decisions when you're hungry angry, lonely, or tired. The acronym for that is HALT. Number six, do continue to date. Be intentional about your time together. Your children will grow up and hopefully move on, and it will be just the two of you again. Get into that rhythm now. Continue to learn about each other, discover new levels of each other, be explorers of the other. Number seven, be wary of triangulation. Children have a knack of finding the path of least resistance and will play you like a violin. Noelle is adorable, and I know that she will have one of you pulling, right? Just, I'm just saying, just, just know that. You could use a line like, let me check with your mother, or let me check with your father, right? Number eight, laugh often. The world will bring you plenty of frustration. So find things that bring you both joy. Number nine, in every argument with each other, there is no winner or loser because you're both in this together. That means you'll either both win or you'll both lose. Work together to find a solution that means you both Win, yeah? Number 10, because we're in a digital age, always answer your spouse's phone call. But try to stay off of it when you two are together. And that's really hard. Finally, and by the look of all the people here, surround yourself with people that will support your marriage. Call you out when you're out of line and offer helpful models of healthy relationships. The Lord knows that relationships are hard, but the best things in life are those that take effort and are done intentionally. Yeah, may the Lord be with you.